So if you were to close up at that point, if uh -huh. she was segmenting the word that she to sound it out, you would close up and then review the second box, the second series? Uh, that's a great question. Um, I would watch her. One time does not mean that you're not ready to go on. But if there's a pattern, if I did the whole set of booklets and there was a consistency of segmenting, then I'd have to say, oh, what else do I need to do before we move forward? That, that was really an insightful question. Thank you for asking it. Any other? Yes. So what did you say you did when she started to segment? When she started to segment the words, she just? She closed the book. You closed the book? <laughs> yes. And, if, if there is a series of segmentation in the reading of these book, booklets, then they're not, they're not ready to read them. And, and I've missed a step, let's face it. We miss a step sometimes. And so um, we need to decide whether it really is a misstep or whether it's just an accident of the moment. And so by reading several books, uh, booklets, you could get a, a sense, a pattern of whether or not there is a segmentation problem or whether that was just a you know, flash in the pan. Yes, so then, Jean. What, what do you do? When a good question. Um, no, I'd go beyond secret words. I would do something either encoding or, or I'd probably do some encoding. I'd probably make um, a new exercise for her and watch watched her really closely, and if the problem was not in the encoding, then I would go to the decoding. And then I would do, that's, this is such a good question, um, I would really then delve into observing the, deco the decoding qualities. And if it was just an, just an apparition at the moment, fine. If there's really a pattern, then I would, she got too far. I mean, if she gets this far, and she's segmenting, there's something wrong with my teaching. I missed it a long time ago. But it's always available for you to pick up on it if you need to. Yes, G. I'm just not sure why, why it's wrong. Won't they eventually get it? Or? Yes, they may. They may. But they've had a lot of word uh, practice. And um, I want to know that it is, to the best of my ability, that it was uh, an, an accident, an apparition, is that the word I'm looking for? Aberration. Uh, what? Aberration. M aberration, that's the word I'm looking for, yes, yes. That it was just an aberration of the moment. And, and just continue to observe her. But if she um, repeatedly segmented then I would say to myself, what did you miss? What did you miss in terms of observation? It might be an indication of a reading disability. It could be, but I should have noticed it a long time ago in the sequence. Th that's why record keeping is so very important. We want to note the difficulties and teach to the, to the difficulties when we note them, present to the difficulties. And eventually, eventually, there may come the child that needs help from a specialist that I'm not. But we shouldn't come to here and just be discovering it. I should have noticed it a long time ago. And, and you know, I'm really focusing on this point because it is so very important. It is so very important. And it might happen, and it probably won't. Are you okay? No. Um, because you're waiting, but looking for a pattern, and if there's a pattern, then there might be something that needs a special attention. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Absolutely. That's what yeah. this this whole thing. This is a pattern of, of presentation. Mm -hmm. It's a pattern of 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 sequentially increasing difficulty. You got that? Sequentially increasing difficulty. So we, we when you when you when you increase in difficulty. You should be pretty sure that what's preceded is pretty comfortable, right? And so, um, if we missed it, then we need to catch it when we did and go on from there. And, and hopefully, 
you, you will have, you, it won't come to this point. But I thought that it was useful to bring it up now. Marie? I think it, it's a good point to, to jump on it when, you know, to teach to it, like Dottie's saying, because there might be, is there a hearing problem? Is there, an, you know, are there other problems? And to, to work on that, to focus, don't let it go. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing too many children slip through. And it's interesting the way we complement each other. This has been an a real interest of, of Marie's, and so she's done a whole bunch of research and, and observed. And she's really very capable to speak to this subject, whereas my outside Montessori has go gone to brain research. And on the second page is a re is a, are some resources. We'll talk about that later. Yes. So the difference, yes. the, <laughs> the difference in why you wouldn't stop the inventive spelling, and which is the same, seemingly the same logic, is that you really haven't, you were teaching in that instance the sound relation to some of the letters. Whereas in this, you thought you got that stuff mastered exactly. when you did the, um, the Google alphabet. Absolutely. That's where you got that. So whether you stop a mistake or don't depends on the goal of your teaching. Thank you for saying that. Yes, I, I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.